Today we're going to talk about how to separate stuck buckets. So let's get started. Oh, welcome back to My Green Lawn. Today we're going to look at ways of unsticking your buckets. So what happens here is when you when you lay this bucket inside this bucket, as long as they're the same size buckets, you're not trying to squeeze a bigger bucket into a smaller bucket. But if the buckets are the same size and they're stuck together, what's happened was a vacuum was created when you did that. All the air got sucked out and you created a vacuum. So now you're unable to get the buckets apart. So we need to break the vacuum and that's not by drilling a hole in the bottom. That would make the first bucket unusable. One of the ways we can do that is to take some compressed air and find a, find a gap in the bucket here and get some air down in there to uh, release that vacuum. So let's try the compressed air first. You don't need much of a gap. Oh my God. That worked. Okay, you've seen these cans of compressed air, right? These cans that you clean off your keyboards with or your electronics with. Spray a little air, bit of air here, spray some air there. Well, that'll work in here too. We just want it, it doesn't take much air to go ahead and break the seal. So we just need to find a gap in here. Look at that. Compressed air in a can. So the next time your buckets are stuck together, remember the vacuum that was created when those buckets were put together. Get yourself some compressed air in one form or the other, and that's going to do the trick. Now there's another option if you don't have either one of those. So let's just try, and I'm sure there's many more, but let's just try one more option. One of these three methods should work for you. Okay, the other thing you can try, if you got a couple of buckets stuck together, is, is to take a wedge, a shim, so to speak and get the shim in there just to, to create a gap to free up the buckets. So let's try to work the shim into there. We're trying to create an air gap. I do have an air gap there now. Now if I just push on this side. Look at that. It's like magic, man. It's like magic. There you go, guys. I think I've showed you enough on how to separate your stuck buckets. Don't throw them away. Don't be drilling holes in the first one, trying to get it out of there. Use compressed air or a shim. It all works. So, and you know, the other thing I wanted to mention, if your buckets are stuck together, you see how it just so happens to be that this handle fits right on this edge. So just make sure that when you're trying to pull up on, on the first bucket that it's not, that's not being stuck on that edge there. See, I mean, that's just an obvious thing, but you'd be amazed. I'm telling you, you'd be amazed. Well, we covered another highly sought after subject. <laughs> Maybe. So thanks for joining us here at My Green Line, guys. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And with that, I'll see you in the green. You guys have yourself a great day. Take care. Time to kick the bucket, man.